Welcome to start today. <laughs> it is the 5th of October. It is 4 a.m. And I want to get stuff ready because I, I, I leave stuff to the last minute. It's not really last minute, but it is the last minute. I want to have like a garage sale outside in my driveway. <laughs> there is a there is a garden market, a farmer's market. A community center that's across the road from me and they have a market every Saturday I've emailed them numerous times asking them about being a vendor there la, 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 how it becomes and so on and so forth because I have books to sell so it's fine they've ignored me it's been months and months and months all the cars come and stand outside here outside our houses here there's this little field so they're all parked there and it's noise and everything is so much traffic so I decided that it's literally all these people are going to come past my driveway to go there. So I'm going to put up my stuff in my driveway. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to sell what I can sell because I need money. I absolutely need money. I, I, I need food. I need I need electricity. Mm -hmm. And I need data. So I have zero money. So now it's 4 a.m. I want to be outside by 8. The thing is, I have been... Thinking of things and getting pulling stuff out and trying to see what I can actually sell other than my books, okay? Um, and now I just need to get the equipment ready. Well, I need this table, this table that this thingy is on. Um, so I have to clean that off and then I've taken my bookshelf and I need to clean that off and then I need to sort and make all the labels. I don't even know if I have stickers that I can put on things. It's very last minute. It really is because I need. I, I really need to do something now. So this video is bookish in the thing because I'm going to sell books in the thing. And I'm going to sell my book. But it's also not bookish because it's about being a market girly. <laughs> so we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, and, and I need milk. I, 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 a black coffee is horrible. After the third cup, it makes me want to... Well... <sighs> Sorry, boy. I am. I don't see sleep on my horizon anytime soon because I need to work, 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 work. Um, yeah. So I've got piles and piles of books. Um, I need to decide what is good enough to sell. I also have so many old books. I can. I mean, I can put them in a in a in a bin and then mark them ten rand. 20 rand, 10 rand, depending on how old they are, um, just, just, instead of just throwing them away, I mean, I've asked an old age home if they want a donation of books, and they said, no, we get so many donations of books, and the people, and then they just gather around, I said, just say no, it'll be fine, just say no, thank you, it's great, no, but I understand it, the old fogies don't want to read well, what else am I going to do in my old in, in my older dome? I'm going to be a reader. There are books on the shelf that I haven't read, so you know I need to stock up. Okay, but that's besides the point. Let me see what I can do. Which books I'm going to do? I'm going to sell some sets. Complete sets, um, like a trilogy. I'm going to sell those, and I'm going to make them. Thingy, the most expensive thing, you know, whatever, and then I'm going to sell at different prices because the point is I want it to sell so that I can get money. I need the money. I'm not going to worry about selling a trade back at 80 Rand, for example, unless there's the newer ones. If I have any newer ones, um, then that's fine, but I mean... The more things I sell, the more money I have, and I need to eat. Okay? <laughs> and the people online, on Instagram, they don't want to buy my books. So now I have to literally do physical labor. <laughs> to try and make money. I wasn't built for physical labor, okay? Let's see what these to see.
okay, I've gotten whatever I can and I'm going to see what we can do. <laughs> I need money guys. Hold thumbs. Wish me luck. Check this out. Let's see what we're going to do. Okay, so obviously I have a lot of books. This I need to carry this so it's empty. And then I've got all of these books. And then I still have some more books. Uh -huh. And then have some bundle books. That's cute. Okay, I have some trinkets and some toys and collectibles and little cute little white bats. Um, these are sticker sheets, but they're for wall stickers. They're big stickers. Um, there's a whole bunch of different designs there. Um, more books. <clears throat> and then, this is a bunch of... Um, cake decorating stuff. Uh, my mother used to collect these things. Because she was doing stuff, but she died. And this has been in a drawer for over 10 years. Hmm. They're still in plastics. They're still sealed. Still usable. So yeah, so let's see what we're going to do. I also have some tote bags, some tote bags that, you know, I got from wherever when. I'm going to make me coffee before we go, I've got about half an hour, then I'm going to go outside, it's 7.30 now, um, and then I'll set up. See, there's no one inside yet. Only the people who are vending are coming in. Oh, you can't see me. Huh? So yeah, so I'm gonna chill, make me copy, so that I can go out with all the other stuff. Bye. Yeah, so there's my cute little setup in front of my house, my driveway. <laughs> yeah, I need to make some money, so hopefully, you know, people will come and buy. All these people will see it. So, yeah, pretty cute. Oh no, this is this not ten rand. This must go. Uh, whatever. But yeah. Wish me luck, you guys. Whoop whoop, I just made my first sale. Mm. Shame me. Yeah, so it's 12 o'clock already. I've been out here for four hours. Um, the market finishes at 12 o'clock, but there's still people there. I'm tired. Bored. <laughs> I want to go have coffee. Um, so I'm just going to stick around for a little bit, but I'm going to slowly pack away. I'm going to slowly pack away and see if anybody's going to be interested. A lot of people have seen me, so that's good. And next week, next week, I'm going to change my setup a little bit so that I can be seen more from every other direction. So that's been great. And then, yeah. That's my first week. It wasn't that bad. But we'll see how it goes. Time to bring all the stuff back inside. No. <laughs> yeah, okay, so <laughs> I sold two books too. Um, I was still given 10 rand short, but I wasn't going to argue with that, so I only made 40 rand um, on books. And then I sold something from the 10 rand box, the 10 rand drawer, so I made a 50 rand. And then my neighbor saw <laughs> so something in the 10 rand drawer, so I said, No, you don't have to pay me. So we do swaps. She gave me some else, so that's fine. So technically, I made 60 rand today, which bought me bread and milk. Okay, now I was hoping to make triple that today because that's what I need. But people have seen me, okay, people have spoken to me, people have come to look at my books. Um, I've been told, I've, I've spoken to a couple of people that were involved there apparently. 
And I told them that I emailed you, and you guys haven't, and la la la, and it's like, yeah, but you know, it's community run, I said, but you have an official email address, somebody needs to take responsibility for that, so I said, yeah, 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 so I said, well, your traffic is all, yeah, I'm taking advantage of it, and then an old lady said, they also have books inside there, have you been inside, I said, no, because I don't have money to go, I don't want to go there with no money, because they want to buy me a coffee, and la 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 la, she says, you know, but they're more expensive than yours, they want 50 rand for a kid's book, I said, you know, I was going to price my books like that as well, but I thought, I need quick sales, so, you know, that's why my prices are like they are. But that's good to know, it's good to know. So, uh, people have seen me, the people that come, the people that arrange there, they've seen me there as well. Um, they can't do anything, I'm on my own property. I'm just taking advantage of the fact that there's all that traffic, all those people that are coming there to spend money. So, they've got to come past me. If they come from this direction, okay? If they come from the other direction, they couldn't see me. But they've got to come past me to go there. So, I need to put my, my tote bags in a more prominent place. Then maybe they can see that. Like, oh, I've got to bring a bag. How much? And I'm like, 20 bucks, please. You know? So, it was not so bad. So, it's a little bit depressing. It's a little bit despondency. Because, you know... You make a third of what you really aim to make. It doesn't get you anywhere. But, fingers crossed, I want to see what next week brings. I'm going to be there again bright and early next week. If it's not raining, I don't have a cover. So, if it's not raining, weather permitting. And then, I want to see if I can get any of the other neighbors involved. And then, if we can, then we can have like a mini garage garden sale. And then, you got to come past. you got to come past us. And you and to your car as well. you got to come through me. And you got to come back to me to get your car. So, that's fine. That's fine. It'll be nice. It'll be nice. It's a great way to spend a Saturday morning. I'm, I'm alone there, so luckily my neighbor kept me some company of it. That was fun. Otherwise, you know, if you can, do it. Do it. If you especially have a lot of traffic to come past your driveway uh, on a Saturday. Um, if, you, if you can't do it or too anxious, try buddy up with somebody. See if you can get a friend to come and do it with you. That'll be, that'll be great. Because we all have stuff that we don't need. So, you know, if you don't want to buy it online, if you don't want to buy it on the Facebook groups, put it in your driveway. You'll make 50 bucks at least. I mean, that's bread and milk, okay? That's electricity for a day. Well, for me, a day and a half. Um, because there's a lot of people, I'm just saying. Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm a market girly. <laughs> Or I'm going to be. I'm also going to figure out what else I can do because, guys, I need the money. I need the money. I don't. I don't understand what I need to say, but I need the money. But I mean, I literally have zero rand. I have zero food. We we, we have to borrow money all the time for electricity. You know, there's one one person is always putting in more than everybody else, and it's not fair. So. I need money, and when I put my books for sale, nobody wants to buy them. What am I supposed to do? So anyway, I'm going to put some of the books on the internet again. Today is Saturday, we'll see how it goes, we'll put it on for the weekend. Um, and then hopefully I'll have some more sales, please hold thumbs for me. Um, I, I don't know what the result uh, will be by the time this video is out. I might record, but I'm running out of space. <sighs> I might wait, I might not, we'll see. Um, but anyway, if you can, you can do it. It is, you know, monotonous is boring you. If you've got nothing else to do, you are at home. You can sit with your book, you can sit with your phone, you can drink your coffee. And if you have people with you, you know, they can stop. Like you and your partner. You can take a turn, you take a turn. And it's cool. Keep each other company. Thank you for watching this, and I will see you in the next video. Do let me know down below if you do try this. I would love to know, and if you do have a video, I will check it out for you. Bye from Cape Town. See you soon.